Hi, uh, good day, and I want to welcome you to today's episode of Inspiration for Success with Sunday. In the last few weeks that I last uh, sent you a video blog, so much has happened. Unfortunately, I lost one of my very close friends and a brother, Shagwin Vito here. We all call him Shaggy. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Uh, but now I'm back with you, and this week, I want to talk to us about uh, ambition versus vision. In other words, the topic of today's blog is vision versus ambition. Some time ago when I was in college, like Polytechnic, we call it in Nigeria, one of my very good uh, sister and friend, a female friend that we were very close together, she brought my understanding to these two words. I didn't know there was a difference between vision and ambition. And I know that back then on the, at the student fellowship, she always used to be the balance between all our plans, say this thing we want to do, is it a vision or is it just some kind of ambition? But over time in my life, almost 20 years now, I've put my life into studying and learning about success and I've applied some of the principles that I've learned, which has brought me this far by the grace of God. Today, I want to talk to you about vision versus ambition. Now, somebody might think that's just a pawn, it's just playing with words, but it's not. To start with, vision is the purpose of your life. It's similar to the dream of your life. It is a purpose you're supposed to achieve. It could be the purpose for your business. It could be the objective you set out to achieve in your organization. It could be a dream that you are living for. While ambition is the drive, what pushes you? Your drive, your relentless pursuit of your vision. That is our ambition. Now, where does do we have conflict between vision and ambition? Usually, if you have only vision without ambition, you may not stay too long. You find people like this, they are, they are sort of ideal. You like them. They inspire you. But in the next few years, you're going to be asking, where are they? What happened to that pastor? What happened to that inventor? What happened to that promising athlete? Because they did not have ambition to their vision, so they were not really propelled for too long. They were good, they were talented, they had a dream, but they didn't stand the test of time. The opposite is the case if you have excessive ambition, it could lead to desperation. People who are excessively ambitious they don't necessarily have a vision. They don't necessarily have a dream. They're just ambitious for something. Many are ambitious to be rich. Many are ambitious to be popular. A lot are ambitious to be uh, beautiful at all costs. Many are ambitious to have designer family. What do I call designer family? They don't really love to show love to a woman. Or to show love and raise kids they just want a woman that they can show off they want children that everybody can say wow how did you make this one what a delight but you see you're not to live your life like that many of us are on a job that is not really our dream the life you're living right now is it your life or are you living for someone else the job you're doing right now the direction you're taking your organization now, is it born out of a vision, out of your own original dream, or have you joined the bandwagon of just one thing to make something happen? People who are self-consumed with ambition, they are unnecessarily uh, desperate. They want to pull everybody down. They want to be the best at all costs. When you are driven by ambition and it goes to extreme, you lose what we call the virtue, uh, the, the noble law of love. You are driven by greed. You become selfish. And then you become unnecessarily competitive. If others don't fail, then your success is not valid. You are happier when more people cannot make it, but you can. You are happier when others come out dressing shabbily and you are the best dressed. 
But you see, it shouldn't be that way. Now, your life should be about your dream. Your life should be about your ambition. Now, somebody might say, okay, the way you've been saying it, okay, should I go for vision and forget about ambition? No, you should not. You see, after you've found out the vision of your life, what your purpose in life is, after you've decided what your dream in your career is, you need to take ambition along. Ambition is that force that will drive you, that will propel you, even when you don't feel like doing it. For example, a heavyweight champion, boxing champion, had a dream. He wants to be the heavyweight champion of the world. Now, he has the skill for punching, but he needs to have ambition to it, because if not, he will not graduate to the higher level. He might become discouraged at some point, when it's winter and it's cold and he needs to train. He might feel too tired. But you see, when you're weak, when you can't push yourself, ambition will get you up to make you go for your vision. So this is what I say to you. It's a misnomer to start making a travel plan or a route plan without deciding a destination. So whatever you are, a preacher, a plumber, a parent, a stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home mom, a student, a policeman, an, uh, a solicitor, a school teacher, or a craftsman, or a tradesman, whatever you are, you must bring ambition into what you're doing. See, even if you're in ministry, God has called you. If you're not ambitious, you will only be a captain of a few. Many things that ambition is not pious. It is a lie. The God of the Bible, he preaches multiplication. He told us about the parable of dollars, where a few guys were given money and they traded with it. The God that we serve is an ambitious God. He wants you to be driven. He wants your work to grow. He wants you to attain and aim for the best. So today, if you have not discovered the vision for your life, if you have left the vision for your organization, for your ministry, for your family in the back burner, go pick it up again. Take hold of that vision, get a grip of the dream of your life and don't let it go. And make sure you take along with you that relentless pursuit of ambition. You join ambition with your vision and you'll become, you will become a force that cannot be extinguished. I say to you, be ambitious, dream big, don't play small, go hard, go all out for your dream. Even after you have started succeeding, you must not relent because if you relent, you will settle, you will plateau, but God has not called you to plateau. Don't fizzle out, don't die out, don't decide to retire, find something else that sparks your passion and go all out there. What is the essence of ambition? It is to be the best of what you have been called to be. You are a preacher, aim to be the best preacher. You are a father, aim to be the best father. You are a husband, aim to be the best husband for your wife. If you are a teacher, aim to be the best school teacher. That is when your ambition is yielding results. So don't be satisfied with saying, this is the purpose for my life, I'm living my dream. If you start living your dream without being ambitious, you will soon fizzle out. So I see you at the top. Get hold of your dream. Uh, garnish it with ambition. And don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't retire. To, don't decide or agree to retire. Make sure that you pursue your dream to the last drop. Aim for gold. Aim to be the best. Be the best plumber on your street. Be the best uh, father. Be the, the best lawyer. Be the best policeman. Be the best of everything. But garnish it with patience. Let us not become victim of unnecessary desperation. Thank you for watching today. I remain your friend and brother Sunday. Until next time, go and succeed. Bye-bye.